Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. I am standing up today because I wanted to get into how to create a budget-friendly walk-in closet. Okay, so you guys know that this is the IKEA pack system along with the Billy bookshelves. I had the Billy bookshelves for a long time and just decided to add in these pieces behind me in my actual walk-in closet in my bedroom, if that makes sense. But in this video, I wanted to give you guys some tips on how to create something similar and on a budget. The first thing you're gonna need is, and this is gonna be like a step-by-step -step video. There's a ton of videos out there, but I wanted to break it down because I have changed this room so many times. I dished out some money a ton of times, and this last time, I decided to just buy an additional piece, replace a piece, as opposed to buying the tallest one, which I'm probably still gonna do. So the first thing you're always absolutely going to have to do first before you start to build anything is figure out what you have and what you need. What I mean by that is I have tops here. I do not have a ton of tops, but I also have an extra space at the bottom that I'm utilizing for like shoes. If I decided to go out and buy 50 shirts today, I have a place for it. Okay. I did this purposely because I do not have a ton of clothes. I'm very strategic on what I put in my closet, so I don't have a bunch of stuff that I'm just never going to wear. So everything does have a place for it. So first thing you always want to do is figure out what you have and what you need. So when you're going through your clothes, if you are a girl who has a ton of dresses, you're going to need something that has a lot of hanging space, okay? But if you're a girl who has a lot of skirts and you don't tend to wear a lot of jeans, and even if you do because you can fold your jeans, definitely get something that has two tiers for you to hang your clothes. That's just a good way to maximize the space that you have. Once you do that, you then want to get the shell of your closet. I have the Ikea packs. But if you don't want to get the Ikea packs, Home Depot has the Evolution closet system. That is cool as well. The reason why I like the Ikea packs is because you have shelves, we have pull-out drawers, we have inserts, we have a ton of things, and you can customize it to your liking, okay, with a little situation online. When it comes to buying from Ikea, it can definitely add up. So I am gonna tell you that the actual shell itself it's not expensive. The rod is not expensive. <laughs> the pull-out drawers, not expensive by themselves, <laughs> meaning the pull-out. <laughs> but when you start adding in your inserts, that's when it starts to get a little pricey. So back to step one, see what you have first before you go out and buy a slew of things that you may not need and overspend. Now you could always return it, but you don't want to just buy things that you don't absolutely need. You want to get things that you need right now for the clothes that you currently have and wear. The next thing you want to do is to build this amazing closet is get you some great lighting. They always recommend getting something that is daylight as far as the bulb and the wattage and stuff. For me, I am more of a warm tone girl. However, sometimes warm tones can come off very yellow in cameras. So I make sure I close certain things and possibly use a ring light if I want to film in here. So it doesn't give off that yellow hue. Maybe slightly, but not too much. So definitely think about your lighting. Get you a nice chandelier. Get you some lighting for here. I have not gotten that yet only because I may still change these, possibly. <laughs> so think about the lighting. If you need a lamp in here, definitely go for that. If you record in here and you want like a sit down light, get something like that too. Get something that's gonna make the room bright and make you actually wanna be in there and get dressed. All right, so if you stay this far in the video, make sure you are hitting that like button. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna think about the functionality of your closet. It has to be realistic to you. Forget about what you see online, on Instagram, and even on YouTube. Think about what works for you. If you need a space to iron, you get a space for that. If you need a place for your accessories or a place to hang your clothes like your OOTDs or a place to do your makeup, 
think about the functionality. What are you gonna use this room for besides it just being a pretty closet? Keep the budget in mind too, okay? Because when you start to add more of these things on and into your closet, it is going to add up. And think about the functionality when you're creating your new walk-in closet. The other thing you wanna do is make sure you're getting mirrors. Mirrors, oh, I don't know how many times I have to say this, but mirrors are like your best friend. Hear me out. I have an open closet here. So with the Ikea packs, you can definitely get it open or close it with some doors, some sliding doors that have mirrors. And they also have regular doors that have glass, almost like the Billy bookshelves. But if you want to add more light in your room, you can always get the doors, okay? with the mirrors. Or you can definitely get you a couple of the Hubbard mirrors from Ikea, stack them side by side, open up that space, bring in more light. Mirrors are your best friend. This is how you're gonna see yourself with your OOTD. Okay? <laughs> and this is also how you're going to get dressed and bring in that light in your room. It's something that's really large. I love to say the Hubbard mirror is because I am six feet tall. That mirror, and I'm looking at it, it has to be about 80 inches high, 76, 70, 76 to 80 inches. Very big and it's very wide and it's affordable, guys. They have it in black now. So think about things like that when you are looking to buy a mirror. The other mirror that they have is a little bit more pricier now, so I'm not even gonna mention it. <laughs> but the Hubbit is definitely cost effective and very budget friendly. All right, so the sixth thing you wanna do for a budget friendly walk-in closet is add some seating. Before you choose your seating, think about how you're going to utilize the seats. Is it something that can be used as a bench to just sit on and put your shoes on if you put your shoes on in your home? Is it something that you could actually lounge on? Is the space of the closet big enough to have like a chase lounge? Think about that before you buy that item, okay? I have a regular ottoman in here. That is solely because it's not really big in here. This is taking up some space and I still wanna be able to walk around. I didn't wanna move a ton of stuff around in here. So I got something like this. But you could also still get a regular like cushion chair if you have a vanity in here. That's perfect. That chair can be utilized for many different things as well if you're working or if you just wanna sit in your actual room. So think about the seating before you go ahead and just buy anything or something that's too big or even something that is too small. Which leads me to the next thing. If you get seating, you wanna think about storage, okay? If your room is not extremely big, you don't have a lot of storage space, go for an ottoman that has storage. I didn't think that I would love my ottoman with the storage, but there's a ton of stuff sitting in this thing that I needed to be out of the way, but I needed to still be in this room. So I know that it's there. It's something that has storage that is definitely helpful. If you have space on top of your Ikea packs, if you decide to get the shortest one, you can put storage boxes up there. Now, okay. Maybe you're like, oh, boxes are gonna be ugly, blah, 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 blah. No, they have a ton of nice boxes. If you have a certain color aesthetic in your closet, you can definitely go for something that is a solid color. It may cost you a little bit more, but at least you have a box or something that you could actually put at the top. You can possibly even hide it with like your luxury boxes. I've seen girls do that. So if you don't wanna put boxes up there and you wanna do like bins, get something that is clear possibly or maybe the front is clear, you could display something and keep it super simple, which leads me to the last one, displaying your stuff in your closet. Listen, this is the best. When you're creating a fabulous walk-in closet or a space that is budget friendly, you wanna display your items, okay? I have shelves, I have the Ikea packs again, inside the middle here, down here, my sunglasses are there, but I did get the glass on top so I could actually see inside. I'm not gonna say that that wasn't budget friendly because the glass is like $55, it was 45, I don't think it's 45 anymore. 
but I wanted to get it so I can see my items. So for me, I saved a little bit because I didn't have to go ahead and buy a bunch of other little pieces to hang my glasses on. They're in this drawer. They're out of the way. It's very neat and I can still see my glasses. When I decide to display my things. That is one of the things that I love to display. The other thing you can do is you can start decorating budget friendly with things from home goods, at home, Target, all these places. You guys already know Target has really a nice home decor. Don't sleep on them. Go to all of the Targets in your neighborhood. Sometimes they all have different things. Decorate with like some really nice artwork and display some of your favorite hats, some of your favorite bags and shoes. Put them on display. Make it a beautiful closet. This is going to be your <laughs> own <laughs> walk-in closet that meets your type of style and aesthetic. So that is the last thing for this video, guys. Just a quick video on, on some tips on how you can create a walk-in closet on a budget. Each thing that I mentioned in the video, there is a higher price item for it and there's also a lower price item. So when you're thinking about budget, it doesn't mean cheap as in quality. You're thinking about the price, <laughs> right? And also the quality. The shells of the Ikea packs is not expensive, but I think the shells are made really, really well. They're very sturdy, but if you don't want to get something like this, you can definitely go ahead and get something else. But we're talking about a budget here, okay? And Ikea is budget friendly. <laughs> so that's it for this video. If you need any more tips on how to create a budget friendly closet like this in your home, regardless of the space, guys, you can still have something really, really nice in your home, even if it's a standard size closet. Trust me, I did it for years in New York City. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. I hope you guys enjoy and I will catch you in the next one. If you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY and my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC and my style services, Coco Styles NY. And I'm on tickety, tickety, talk, Coco Styles NYC. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.